We're looking at the new Epson Workforce WF2110W, which is a direct replacement for the WF2010W. We've been selling this printer, the 2010W, as a sublimation printer, and we wanted to make certain that our refillable cartridge stock worked with the printer, and we also wanted to check for any wrinkles whilst connecting the printer to a computer. So we're going to start by having a look at the connections and Sandra's going to turn the print around so that we can have a look. As you can see there, there's a power connection and then you've got the USB connection and coming down from that, you've got a port. That's where you put your network cable, an ethernet cable if you're connecting directly to a network. So if we turn the thing back around and let's look at the paper tray this is where you'd store the paper a foldable tray and I want to make a point um, this is a straight through feed printer in other words because it passes through directly through your printable side should be facing you when you place it in the paper tray let's have a look now at the cartridge cover and you'll see that we have a set of cartridges already installed as I said, we wanted to check that our cartridges were compatible and I can confirm that they are. Now let's have a look at the paper tray out. This is where the paper will arrive after you've printed. So that's that. And I'm going to ask Sandra just to hit the power button and turn the printer on and we'll let it whir and gur and sort itself out. Now at this point, I should point out that we have not connected the other end of the USB lead to the computer. We wait until we've got the software downloaded and it will tell us when to connect up, as you will see. So let's switch over now. And we're now on screen and let's go to the Epsom website, which is epsom.co.uk. What you do when you get there is you head for support and you will see there you've got a search by product name box and you would enter in your product which is a WF 2110 W and you can see there that it's found it and it's confirmed that they do have it in their catalogue and they're now offering the various drivers that they have available and utilities. I'm going to make a point here if you buy a printer and your laptop or desktop does not have a CD drive, this is exactly the procedure you would use to get the driver onto your computer. The biggest problem that we have with customers reporting that there's a problem with the printer is owing to incorrect installation of drivers. When you just power up a printer and connect it to your computer it will apply a windows driver a generic driver and it will not give you the full functionality of the printer you must and i reiterate you must load an epsom driver so that effective communication can take place between the computer and the printer and so that you get good quality printing so let's get back to this we know we're going to set it up with the usb lead all we want is a driver Let's click that and let's click the download button. You can see network utilities there. We showed you the network port. If you wanted to use an Ethernet cable to connect directly to the network, you may well need this driver here. I'm going to ignore the software update and I'm going to comment on that as we go. So let's start the process. Just click on the download. Confirm, yes, that you want to adjust your computer. And click the setup button you can see it's confirming that you've selected the right driver for your model and then you've got a couple of check boxes set up as a default printer not for us automatically update software uncheck that the reason i don't want you to have that checked is that periodically epsom will update their software and if you've got this box here checked what will happen is your computer at some point will find that update on the internet. It will download it and apply it to your printer. 
and the next time you come to turn your printer on, your cartridges may well give you a message that they cannot be recognized. So make sure that's unchecked. That's very important. So, okay, we've done that. English for us. We're going to agree with the end, license, end user license. What a mouthful that is. Now, on this dialog box, it's asking us, do we want to set it up as a network or a USB printer? For the purposes of this video, we're just going to go with USB. So we would select that and hit that box. And as you can see, it's trying to find it automatically. It is at this point that you would plug in your USB lead. We're now plugged in and hopefully it will detect it automatically. And as you can see, it has done. And we got the printer driver installation and port configuration were completed successfully. So we would click OK to that. And we no longer need to be on the Epson website. So we can close that down. Now let's just make certain that we have in fact got the printer on the system. And to do this, it come down. I'm using Windows 10. You'd have to apply this to whatever Windows version you're using. Going to settings, devices, devices and printers. And can we see it in the list? And yes, we can. There it is there. So that says that we've got the thing connected. And a quick check is you can just see if it's all live. Going to printing preferences. And there we go. We've got the driver box up. And that's as far as we're going. All I wanted to do was to get the printer set up so that it can communicate and point out that we don't want software updated. Thank you.